Hey guys, it's Kat here. Um, so I woke up this morning and took a picture of myself with my son and I looked exhausted. So I decided to wear makeup today. <laughs> so I thought I'd better not waste the opportunity and I'll do a bit of filming. So I thought I'd bring you into our craft room today and show you what I have been up to in terms of crafting. Um, I have my little mate here, my six month old on my hip and I will not show him on the screen but you may hear him. Um, his sister's occupied inside, so hopefully I can steal a few moments. Just before we go in, can I just say a few words about the indomitable spirit of the silver bit? Known as Swiss chard in some places. But my husband built this craft room slash shed slash study on top of my old veggie patch. And this silver beet self sowed in the slab and is growing and it grew really well we've eaten from it and it's going to seed so i'm definitely saving seeds from that one okay so we're in the craft room one of these days i'll do a bit of a tour but it's a little bit messy at the moment so not today um so i have lots of craft things going on not just knitting but some hand spinning stuff going on as well so i thought that i would just update you on what i have been doing what i'm liking and what i'm not liking and i've got some really exciting things happening so um, let's get started. So one thing that we have been doing, so when I say we, I mean me and my husband, is, um, so once a week, Saturday nights, we set that time aside to do something together as a couple. Sorry. Little boy just lost his toy. <laughs> um, and what we have been making is, well, we made a few weeks ago anyway, um, drop spindles made of CDs and some dowel and hooks and um, my husband is I mean he's capable of knitting but I wouldn't call him a knitter um, but he's really interested in my crafts and really fascinated by them and I got a book out from the library by Ashley Martineau it's called Spinning and Dying Yarn and it had this tutorial for making drop spindles and my husband wanted to make them. Um, it's great having a partner who cares about your craft um, and when he met me and talked to me about my crafts um, he thought it was really cool that I do this kind of thing and to be honest when I took up knitting I wasn't really going for cool um, but that's nice <laughs> um, so he's really supportive and so he actually wanted to do some spinning himself and so we did some spinning with our drop spindles and I loved it actually. It's the first time I've used a drop spindle. I've only ever used a wheel before. Um, we spun up some alpaca and I have a very small skein here of some black alpaca that I've made. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. The two ply. The weight of is probably um, like a four ply or fingering weight, weight maybe a bit thicker. Um, maybe five ply but it's it's pretty nice I'm pretty happy with it um, it's finished like I've set it and everything I'm going to make a little um, garter stitch rabbit little toy rabbit out of this because there's plenty for that so I'll show you um, when I finished knitting this up what I've made in terms of knitting what I've been doing is well not as much as I like really um, I just frogged something that I was designing the other day, so I can't show you that, but I will do a tutorial on that, what that was. But um, what I have been doing is designing this little mini dress. It's all on um, stitch holders at the moment. Little baby size dress. Oh, that's the back of it. <laughs> there we go, with some baby cables and then some smocking stitch on it. I'm going to I'm gonna hibernate this, I think, but I, I just, um, just sort of kind of like writer's block around designing it and just working out the neckline and stuff. Um, I've got, I've got like, it all designed and stuff. Um, I'm just sort of working my way through it and it just makes me not feel like knitting. It's just, just little annoying things about it. So I'm going to finish that hopefully one day, but I'm going to put it on the side burner at the moment. You can see all of my maths <laughs> to work out, um, like the measurements and how many stitches and rows I need there. So, you guys, 
Pay attention to primary school maths because I use it all the time when I'm designing patterns. Um, so yeah, so that dress I'm hibernating is beautiful. Like I'm, I think it's going to be nice, but it's just sort of my, I'm not inspired at the moment. So I'm going to work on something else. And what I'm hoping to knit next is a sweater vest for my husband. Um, I hope that he likes it. It's the first, it'll be the sw first sweater that I've made for him. Um, but he's been getting into wearing them a little bit, sweater vests, so I thought that I would make him one. So, um, yeah, so I'll update you on which one I've decided on, but I think I've, my mum sent me a couple of um, my old pattern books that were given to me, and they're from, like, the 90s or a long time ago, and um, there are some nice cabled sweater vests in there, so I'm going to start one of those probably this week. So let's move over to my other crafting stuff that I've been working on. So, excuse the mess, but I recently asked my parents to go hunting for some of my hand spinning stuff because if you recall in one of my most recent videos I got a new spinning wheel given to me on my birthday of all days um, and I'm loving, loving, loving working with that. Um, so I asked my parents to find my other spinning equipment. So they sent, sent me a Lazy Kate um, that I had. I, I had one here, but I needed a different kind. And they also sent me my beautiful wool combs. I love them. Got them in, uh, they're dated 2012, so I, I guess I probably got them in then. Um, by the Benjamin Green Studio, and they're beautiful, and I miss them, and I love them. So they're here. I've been playing with those a bit. Um, also in spinning news, I got a drum carla. Isn't it beautiful? It's great. Um, I, I've always dreamed of having a drum carla, but I never thought that I would have one because they're expensive. Um, but it was our anniversary recently, and my husband, who, like I said, is really supportive of my crafts, offered to buy me this one, which we found on Gumtree actually located not too far from where I am from in a different state um, and uh, I chatted to the lovely lovely lady who um, was selling this to me and it sounds like we've got a lot in common so it's quite sweet um, that I ended up buying this from her but it is great it is old um, I've looked up Morrison Carters online I haven't been able to find a website so I think that it is no longer a company and as you can see on the teeth here if you know much about carding and hand spinning you might be able to tell that these are really really widely spaced teeth um, and I counted it it's about 20 teeth per inch just to compare these are my little mini hand carders you can see how um, densely packed those teeth are I don't I never counted the teeth per inch of this but I guess it's probably about 72 or so compared to this so it's a big difference and I was a little bit concerned that it might not um not card too well I was aware that it would be this course um that it said it on the ad and the lady who sold it to me is a felter and so felters don't need as fine a carding equipment as spinners but what I'm finding is that it works great um what I have to do though is I have to be very nice to it. I have to work slowly. I have to pick the fleece well and I need to put it through at least twice. Um, but it's great and it's I think it's still quicker than hand carding because you see I was upgrading from these to this. So these, I have a pair of these mini hand cards. They're tiny. They're like a bit bigger than a flick carder. I bought them when I was a student and it was all I could afford. So very, very small. And um, so you couldn't make very much with that. In other crafting news, this doesn't look like very much, although if you know the kind of machine that I'm going to talk about, you may be able to recognise that logo. But um, I got a knitting machine. Um, again, on my husband's suggestion. <laughs> um, but it was being given away by someone we knew. And um, I've, there it is. It's an empisal. And it's, it's cool. I don't know anything about knitting machines. Um, so I'm going to learn. And the, I've, I started a thread on Ravelry. And everyone's just been delightful. Um, it's really, really old. It was sold in 1970. I have a little signature in one of the manuals. Um, so my parents were teenagers when this was 
the salt. Um, but looks like a lot of them are this sort of age, so hopefully I'll be alright with finding spare parts and things. And it came with all the manuals. It also came with a ribber. And I, just a few minutes ago, just before I started filming, I was just sort of unpacking because I haven't looked too much at it and found the weirdest thing in the box. It's not a gun, don't worry. It's the stock of a gun, just the wooden bit. I don't know a thing about guns, but I sent it to my husband and he said this is the stock. So I don't know what this was doing in here. We might need to contact the lady who gave us the machine and ask her if she wants it back. I don't know that she would want it either, but there we go. We have that. Um, so <laughs> we got, yeah, so we got a ribber. I assume this does ribbing. It's going to be a learning curve. It looks complicated, but I'm really excited to try. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to make some cool things and make some things pretty quickly with this too. And the lady who gave this to me, who actually got it from somebody else, um, she gave me some yarn to work with. So I'll have a go at some stage. Like I say, there's lots of support online and I've got the manuals here. Look at this. Computermatic. So yes, looking forward to work, trying out my knitting machine one day, hopefully soon. So I'm filming this bit a few days after I filmed the last bit and a few things have changed um, in my crafting world. So I thought I'd sort of give you like a second update. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention is that so I'm really happy with the drum carter, but I think that one day, next time I have occasion to splurge, I will probably replace the carding cloth with something a bit finer, just to improve that quality of the roving and the bats even more. Um, and also, if you're wondering about the blue stuff, this is chucks, or just like a, a very thin dish cloth, which um, I've stretched over it to um, protect the carding cloth, so it's easier to clean. And so. A few other things that I was planning to mention but didn't um, are my spinning at the moment. This is what I'm spinning at the moment that I have carded. Most of this is what was carded on the drum carder. Some of it is from my hand cards. Um, just a, a fairly thin um, alpaca and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think probably just traditionally pl ply it, maybe three ply once I've got enough but we'll see. We'll see what happens next. So since I filmed that last bit, I did also get a ball winder, which I have been looking for for ages, but I went to Spotlight the other day and this was heavily reduced. So I thought I'd better grab it. And so I've had a go with that. That's pretty fun. Um, I've wound some balls, including the drop spindle yarn that I showed you earlier on the skein. And so I've started knitting that. So that's it here. I'm just going to do a garter stitch rectangle and then sew it all together to be shaped like a rabbit. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you've seen these patterns around the internet. There are a few websites that have it, but I'll link in the description below one of these patterns for making a rabbit out of a garter stitch square because it's really helpful for beginners because you can make something a bit more interesting than just a scarf. So I hope that you enjoyed that little crafting update. I know that I'm really excited about all of my new projects and all of my new toys. That I have gotten and also my old toys like my wool combs um, so yeah I'm just really eager to get into my crafting this year when I can find a moment and um, I hope that you guys are having a good year with your crafting as well thanks for watching bye